assalamu alaikum students uh, hope you all are fine and enjoying good health at home okay this is grade 7 uh, english literature and again your reader is great expectations by charles dickens uh, your chapter is chapter number 11 the best of friends this is your last chapter of this reader and uh, definitely this is your second lecture and last the last one in the last chapter in the previous chapter number 10 we came to know that uh, provis was uh, caught by the police and he is on trial and herbert has uh, left for cairo because he is doing a job there but pip is left alone and he is quite lonely now what happens next uh, in the very first episode we come to know uh, about the death of provis in this chapter you can see uh, that uh, Provis is died definitely uh, he was quite weak and he, is, he was sick and due to his weakness and sickness uh, he was dead uh, and definitely uh, Pip is quite uh, depressed uh, due to his death uh, he becomes very depressed and he is very sad uh, you can see in this picture uh, when uh, it was the last uh, moment of his life. Uh, Pip was sitting beside him and he was having his head, hand in his own hands. Uh, and this was the last moment of his life. Provis was died over there. You, uh, we, uh, you know that uh, Pip had no parents at all. When he was very small, his parents were dead. Uh, uh, his only sister uh, had brought him up and he was living with her uh, but she also died uh, now uh, he has no other re relative in the world uh, it was only and only provis uh, who was loving him who was giving him effect affection uh, and he who he was doing a lot for him actually uh, provis was a prisoner but for Pip, he was a uh, he was a great well wisher. He was a great relative, and he was uh, an affectionate personality for him. Okay, next, in the next episode, I am very ill. Uh, in this episode, we come to know that uh, 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 Pip is uh, very sick. He is not feeling well, and definitely he needs someone to take care of him. And at this time, what happens? Uh, his brother-in-law, Joe, uh, with, with whom Pip has been living in his childhood, uh, comes there and he takes care of him. Uh, next, the death of Miss Havisham, when he uh, comes back to his place uh, where he was living in his childhood uh, with his uh, brother-in-law, he comes to know about the death of Miss Havisham. That is an other uh, tragic story. Uh, tragic turn of this uh, story of this novel because Miss Havisham uh, is another old lady uh, who loved Pip a lot and due to, he, uh, due to her love Pip has uh, developed a relationship with Estella but you know Estella was also not there uh, she got married with Drummel and now Pip is uh, left alone in the next episode, Joe and Biddy are married. Uh, you can see in the picture that a lady and a man, they are looking very happy with flowers in their hands. This is Pip who is looking at them. Uh, Pip comes to know that they are getting married. Joe was his brother-in-law. Now he, is, he was alone after the death of um, Pip's sister. Now Biddy and... Uh, Joe have got married and they are very happy in their life. Uh, Pip is very surprised and happy to see them happy and he is wishing them all the best for their future. Okay, next episode a changed woman. Okay, uh, uh, when he uh, went back to Miss Havisham's house, uh, he saw Estella over there. Okay, now what happened there that Estella is quite changed, uh, she had changed, uh, but me she was even more beautiful her eyes were no longer uh, cold and proud they were filled with uh, sadness and feelings she told me that her husband Ramal had died now this is the end of the story at the very end we come to know 
that the uh, girl whom Pip loved a lot, whose name was Astella, uh, she ha had got married with Drummel, but now we come to know that Drummel uh, is died, and she is again alone, and now uh, definitely she is over there with Pip, and Pip will get married, with, uh, married, and they will be living a very happy life. And now they are again friends. So this is the end of the story. Uh, I hope you will read it carefully uh, to find your answers and uh, your queries, your curiosity uh, will be uh, stopped when you will read it again and again. It is quite interesting one and uh, uh, there is a happy ending of the story. Now again there are some words. Uh, only six words are there to make sentences. First is dreaming, then illness, unfriendly, expected, surprised, and ease. Dreaming will be used as dreaming, not as dream or dreamed. Okay? Do not change the verb of uh, this form, the verb of this word. Uh, expected is a second form of verb. Surprised is also second form of verb. You will use them as it is. They are in this form of verb. Fine? Next. These are your questions. Question number one is, what was the condition of promise before trial? Uh, you mean, um, uh, you can understand that uh, when promise was on trial, how was he feeling and what happened to him? And question number two, explain death scene of promise, the last moment when I was showing you the picture of his last moment. You must remember this. Then question number three, how did Miss Havisham die? Okay, you will tell the reason of her death uh, after reading that episode. Question number four, what showed that Astella was guilty for her behavior towards Pip um, in the very end episode, uh, in the very end, at the last episode, you can see that Astella was feeling embarrassed. She was feeling guilty for her wrong behavior with Pip. How did Pip progress in his life? Okay, this is another question, question number five. How did we progress? I mean, uh, it was all about when he came back after uh, returning everything, you know, whatever he owned, whatever he, uh, belonged to him in the form of uh, property. Okay. And question number six, uh, what was the condition of people after Provis's death? Uh, this is another important episode of the reader uh, that what happened to his condition he was definitely mentally very depressed and very in a great uh, distress when Provis was died question number seven what did Pip see when he went to meet joe okay uh, at the last what did he see uh, over there uh, in that episode we come to know that uh, there was a small boy sitting over there with uh, with joe and definitely he was the son of joe and he resembled to Pip, even his, uh, he was given the name of Pip by Joe. Uh, that was because of his love. Uh, uh, Pip was loved by his brother-in-law, whose name was Joe. Okay, this is your last, uh, last assignment, RTC. And the line is, we hope he grows up to be like you. Uh, you can find this line in the episode, when Pip comes back to see Joe, uh, after 11 years okay and he uh, sees over there a small boy you will find that line over there give your reference then your context and then explain this line who said why did he say and to whom this line was said i hope you will do your work in your english literature notebooks and you will do it in a very good way uh, neatly and in a tidily okay uh, take care Allah Hafiz